Hey, this is Sihir from Accessible.com. Today is the second part of uh, RX Java for Android or else. In the previous one, we just uh, looked at the very simple principles of uh, RX Java. And uh, I hope that you've seen it. And uh, today we're gonna use it with the retrofit and the Firebase. Extending it for uh, retrofit is super easy. That's the app that uh, I made before for uh, Play and Movies for the TMDB API. And here I fetch uh, movies uh, for some query. And this is the RxJava chain. Why it's so complicated is because I make an extra networking call for each movie to get more details. In the end, uh, the only thing you, that you need to start is to add call adapter factory. Uh, this one, which you get from this library. Then you just uh, make your methods return observable, and that's it. It's pretty trivial. What's more interesting for me is the uh, Firebase. Firebase callbacks are horrible pain, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Firebase itself is uh, pretty simple, but the callbacks uh, are killing me, and uh, I wanted to check how can I make it cleaner, more readable with the uh, RxShell, and I found the solution. First, uh, let's see what we have in our network in here. We have three calls, network calls in a row, one depending on each other's success. The first one is uh, creating user with email. This is uh, like the Firebase authentication. Then you get the ID from this user. Then uh, we upload the picture to storage, get the URL for this image. And the last one is uh, save a user with the name and URL to, to the database. That's the regular approach which you would uh, have with Firebase callbacks. As you see, it's uh, horrible nesting. And doesn't matter if you extract methods or no, it uh, still would look horrible. And the second uh, thing uh, which uh, is ugly is that you have to name your methods with the two actions because uh, or even more or even five six as many callbacks as you have inside you cannot just uh, make something like that with firebase like synchronously do networking. Uh, you could do that with the Firebase API and uh, running it on the background thread. But uh, what if you don't want to use it and still want to view code clean and nice? And uh, now look at that. Here's the second solution with the Rx Java. Look at this clean, nice approach. And create, upload, save. Simple, doesn't require no comments, no explanation. You just see that uh, what it does, it does it, uh, it does it imperatively. Although that's a networking calls on here, and it's uh, and you're not not running it on a background thread. So underneath there is a Firebase callbacks and the RX Java. And with the chains that each method returns returns value, which means that we can save the return value and uh, extract each part to methods. So like for example, this one is creating user. The other one is uh, uploading picture. The last one is saving. Of course, that's not that one. I'm just showing you how the chain looks like uh, without method extracted. That's the first uh, part. Create user. I use the uh, the 
this I use this library for Firebase with uh, Rx Java. Create a new user, filtering and saving it, uh, saving this uh, flowable result it just into the field. But I decided to make it uh, as a separate class to store the values. Create user. This is like a first uh, part of the chain. Save the return value. You could uh, do this with the return of course uh, like this you could do something like that and uh, so on for like returned values from the chains without saving them to fields or your objects and then passing them as a parameters to the next chain but it doesn't look so nice and it's not uh, that uh, readable anymore which way which is why I decided to save them as fields for my custom model registration. Saving values, retrieving them. And the final one upload a picture. And the uh, one to just to show you how to wrap firebase return task of value with the flowable or observable you use the create method for flowable it uh, has a emi flowable emitter of your value and then you set uh, heavier task actual task firebase and set listeners on the so you can expand any of the Firebase methods, even though they are not in the library. Yeah, and go ahead and check out the GitHub repo if you wanna go into the coding and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's cool stuff. Helps the readability. And uh, thanks for watching.